Hello, my name is Kerry Jensen, and this is a quick look at live bindings in RAD Studio. This is part four of a five part series. In this part, we'll look at live bindings and FireMonkey data awareness. In the first three parts of this series, I demonstrated live bindings with VCL applications. The reason why I did that is because live bindings apply to Delphi in general, including the VCL or Visual Component Library and the FireMonkey library. FireMonkey offers some additional capabilities and we're going to look at those in this section, in this part of the series. And we are going to look at those in this part of the series. Let me first bring up a project that demonstrates where we're going to end up when we're done binding our FireMonkey components. In this case we have a data aware FireMonkey application, we have a string grid, we have a couple of edits, and we can make our changes in either the string grid or in the edits themselves and these are live bound controls and they're bi-directional in that when we make changes to these controls those changes are being written to the underlying data set and we have this additional control here called a bind navigator and it allows us to navigate post cancel and edit refresh and so forth what I'm going to do now is open up a project where those controls those those uh, controls that I was interacting with are absent however I have got controls here to uh, touch my database. For instance, I have a client data set and this client data set is pointing out at a CDS file that's located in the directory with the sample project. So uh, it's and I have some code here in fact that also will uh, link that client data set up and set and open it and set log changes to false when the form opens and I have some code to save that. So what we need to do now is we're going to place and we're going to wire up the controls that we're going to interact with runtime. So we place a string grid. We'll go ahead and align that to bottom. Now we'll place two edits and these controls are different than the traditional VCL data aware controls in that they they aren't natively data aware themselves. Oops. And finally we'll place a the bind navigator. Place this up here. So let me I don't even really need to activate this client data set. Well, it is active already, so let's let's not worry about that. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to wire up one of the controls. So we'll go in and say new live binding. And you'll see here if you compared this new live binding dialog box to the one that you would see with VCL controls, you'd see with it we have a different or a new category, and this is a DB link. DB links are very similar to links in that they allow for bi-directional uh, editing. However, they are um, more aware of the actual field, so they're actually uh, designed to specifically link to a data set. And so we're selecting that bind link and then we're coming over here and we will uh, select the data source to be the bind scope DB and the data field to be the first name field. And now when we go back to the form, we'll see that we actually see our data here already. Now that wasn't difficult, but I went to more trouble than I really needed to because I could simply have taken the control and instead of using the new live binding dialog box, I can click the link to DB field component editor and it offers me the fields to which I can bind this to. Now, these are single fields, but this is a single field control, so it understands what the purpose of this control is. Now we're going to do this with the data source and we'll see that it understands that the string grid or excuse me the string grid and then it understands that the string grid actually can bind to an entire data set so it doesn't offer me individual fields and that's as easy as it can be. Finally I'll take and I'll hook up the bind uh, navigator to the bind scope DV and we're back to the exact same project that I had shown you just at the outset. We can make our edits, post our changes, edit in either of these controls. 
And that's how easy it is to bind your FireMonkey controls to data sets using live bindings. Thank you for joining me today in this quick look at live bindings. For additional information, visit www.embarcadero.com slash rad in action slash live bindings. There you'll find the replay of my webinar, Visualizing Live Data with Live Bindings in Rad Studio. You'll also find a link to my paper, Live Bindings in Rad Studio, as well as links to the other videos in this Quick Look series. For information about the current Delphi Developer Days Tour, you can visit DelphiDeveloperDays.com. For information about my latest book, Delphi In-Depth Client Datasets, visit JensenDatasystems.com slash CDSbook. Finally, you can contact me at cjensen at jensendatasystems.com or follow my blog or follow me on Twitter where I tweet about Delphi topics several times a week.